The station board has hired a consulting firm to help find the district's new next superintendent. Yeah, this comes a less than a week after College Station Superintendent Mike Martindale announced his plans for retirement at the end of the school year. Newsreads Morgan Rydell attended a special board meeting that happened today to learn more about the decision. Monday's decision by the College Station ISD school board was unanimous, but it didn't always seem like it was going to be the case. Uh, I think we're passionate about this next step and, and excited uh, and nerve-wracking at the same time, but looking forward to it. N2 Learning was ultimately hired to help find the district's next leader. Three firms presented their ideas for the search, but board president Jeff Horak says the decision boiled down to how well the firm knows the school district. The end all goal is for us to make sure we find the right superintendent to, to succeed Mr. Martindale, but who's going to guide us in that process? And um, N2 just seemed to kind to come to the top as far as just their relationship with uh, being local, uh, having the opportunity to visit with them directly. Two consultants will be working on the search from N2, including a former College Station ISD superintendent. Horak says not only will this group know what the community wants from the next superintendent, but they will actually be asking for input. A big part of it is getting that community feedback to see where everybody is, make sure our teachers and, and our faculty are going to be very, very pleased with whatever decision we come to uh, whenever that time comes. The goal is to have applications open soon and have a loan finalist announced in June. In College Station, Morgan Rydell, News 3. Other firms that presented to the board include the Texas Association of School Boards and a group of attorneys from Walsh Gallegos. Governor